All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this HP. This is an HP Pavilion laptop model 14-DV0097NR. All right, so this is just going to be a quick look inside. Um, the SSD was having issues. Um, we're not sure if the SSD is bad or if it's just a data issue. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look inside. You're going to need a PH or JS1 as well as a PH JS0 screwdriver. If you only have the PH JS0 screwdriver, you might be able to get away with this, but you want to be careful because you don't want to damage the screws. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we need to peel up the rubber piece from the sides here. So you only need to peel it up partially to see the screw here. Okay, we'll undo that. You want to keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and length. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like that on my desk in the pattern. I remove them. All right, so there's that one. Then we're going to go over here and we'll remove this one. Okay, if this video helps you out, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Uh, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. I also have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More. It'd be really helpful if you could subscribe to that one as well. Um, I need to reach a thousand subscribers and we're slowly getting there. All right, anyways, those four screw uh, screws were PH1 or JS1 screws. We're gonna now switch to the PH0 JS0 screwdriver and remove the two silver screws down here. All right, on some models um, down here, they use T5 or Torx 5 screws, but on this specific one, it looks like they use PH0 or JS0 screws. Okay, now that we've got all six screws out, we're gonna go ahead and pop the bottom cover off. All right, just pop these little rubber pieces back in so they don't come out. All right, so the way this cover works, um, or the easiest way I've found to uh, pop this kind of cover on these HP laptops off is you start from the side, okay? We're gonna use our thumb on the palm rest portion here, and then I'm gonna use my fingernails here. Obviously, you can use pry tools or just let your fingernails grow out for a bit until you can do this. All right, so I'm gonna, again, get my fingernails in the little gap there between the cover, and then use my thumb here, and you'll do that. You can see how it popped like that. And then I'm gonna get my fingernails over closer here, and then you wanna make sure still just to push on the palm rest. Don't push on the keyboard, you don't wanna damage that, okay? So we'll go like this. And there we go. So now that we have this gap, we're going to go flip it over and we'll do the same thing with the other side. So we'll go over here again, pull on it and push with your palm or your thumb. Okay. And then try to move further over if you can to the outside, just like that. So you might have to switch hands. There you go. So you can see the gap popped all the way over there. Let me see if I can do that with this one. So this one, I think I already popped it far enough, but let's try more just in case because it will help for later. All right. Okay. So now that we got these sides popped, you can see. All right. What you do is you continue popping this out if you can. But what you do is you push this down or this side down. Um, oh, this side didn't pop out all the way. So you might have to use a pry tool again or your fingernails. And there we go. Okay. So the way you want to do is you're flexing the case in this way. So I push down with my thumb to flex the case in like that. So push it down and then you can see how easily that popped up. All right. And this whole thing popped up as well. Once you've got that all popped up, you can actually just pull this up. It feels like it's going to break, but you just pull it up like that and it should unclip just like that. And there we go. We got the thing. Out. Oh, actually, oh no, that bent this little clip. So this clip got a little bit messed up, but there we go. Okay, so just push it back into place, just like that, and it looks good. All right, so we'll set this aside. Okay, so inside here, we have the SSD. Um, so this is the thing that we had to remove because I was trying to clone it, and it wouldn't read the SSD. So I had to use a USB adapter to try and read it. All right, so in here, we're gonna switch back over to the PH1 or JS1. Actually, let me get a thumbnail real quick here. Just like that, okay. So there's one screw, let me zoom in so you can see better. 
Um, if you're going to be messing with other things like the screen cables, like this one, and I think that's the only cable going into the screen. There's another cable, but okay. So I think the only other cables that go into the screen are the antennas here. You also have the DC jack charge port connector here. Um, so yeah, if you're going to mess with this cable, make sure to disconnect the battery first and then press and hold the power button. The battery model number is PP03XL. All right, I'm not going to be taking out the battery because this one doesn't have any issues with the screen. I'm just going to show you how to remove the SSD and the RAM on this specific model. Okay, so there's one screw. You undo that screw. After you undo the screw, you want to get underneath the SSD so you can lift it up slightly. And then you can kind of grab here and pull that out. So there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, um, but that's how you remove it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put it back in. So I like to pinch both sides like this. That way it's not putting all the force onto the connector there, all right? Make sure this is centered here and then we'll put the screw back in. Okay, I already cloned it earlier, so yeah. All right, then we got the two sticks of RAM, two slots for RAM here. We're just gonna take out one, but basically you move this out of the way. There's these two metal tabs on the side, pull them aside and then the stick of RAM will come up. Then you pull this out and this is, 8 gig PC4 3200AA RAM, right? So there's two 8 gig sticks, so 16 gigs total. Um, you can get larger sticks if you want. If you can, you can put two 16 gigs and have 32 gigs of RAM. I'm not sure what uh, size sticks are available. I think 16 is the largest, but you never know. In the future, they might come out with 32 gig sticks, or there might already be some, but super expensive. All right, anyways, here's the fan. And the fan connects the motherboard logic board here. There's the keyboard backlight connector. These have little flip latches to remove them. So you would flip that and then you would pull that out, but you do have to take the keyboard out first. Um, you got another, this is the keyboard connector. Same thing, there's a flip latch. All right, this is the, most likely the touchpad trackpad connector. Same thing, this part is the flip latch. Then you have a connector here, flip latch, which connects all the way to this board here which is for the headphone jack and the USB ports. I don't know why that board is so long. Is that all there is to that board? It looks like it. Um, and then there's a fingerprint reader, which is most likely plug connected with this. Flip latches on this side, okay? Um, wireless antennas, if you do need to remove them, you need to peel this plastic piece up first, and then you would go from the tail and pop that up. This is the DC jack charge port connector. To remove that, I just use my fingernails on the wings of the connector, and then I just keep, keep wiggling it to pull it out. Um, if you need to remove that, you do need to undo the hinge screws and then lift it slightly. Um, but if you do that, be careful because you don't want to hit this piece and damage it. So sometimes, depending on the design, you might not be able to lift this high enough to remove this piece. If that's the case, you might have to open the laptop um, screen, uh, put the keyboard on the edge of your desk, and then hang the screen over. So that way you can kind of lift, um, you can have this open 90 degrees, and then you can um, kind of separate the screen, like lift the screen up away from the uh, keyboard assembly. Uh, CPU is here underneath the, there's the heatsink, solder to the motherboard or logic board, whatever you want to call it, and then the fan is blowing through the heatsink there. Um, I think that's everything. This is the LCD LVDS connector, if I didn't already mention, and yeah, you do need to remove that, um, or the battery and press and hold the power button before undoing that. The flip latch is on this side, okay? Um, and to get the battery out after you remove the screws that are holding this piece in place, you would go under here and you would pop it up. This connector, it just pops out and then goes pops back down. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and put the bottom cover back on. I need to reinstall Windows on this computer. Um, if you're having trouble reinstalling Windows on here, you might have to uninstall or disable the Intel VMD stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and get this cover back on. So first you push this side down, all right, just like that. Pop that all back. Okay, there we go, everything looks good. And then we'll get all the screws back in, all right? Again, make sure you use the PH1, JS1 screw 
uh, screwdriver for these black screws and then the PH0JS0 screwdriver for the other screws. Okay. There's those. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And help, if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, um, again, if you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others. Uh, watch a few of my other videos. I probably repeated myself a million times and then um, Yeah, uh, I do have that other channel called it's been reviewed again I would help a lot if you could subscribe to that one as well um, If you need help or if you're not sure how to install Windows again um, I do have other videos showing that but for the HP you would press F9 to boot from an external USB and then you can boot from your uh, Windows installer. Uh, if you have problems seeing the SSD, like if it's not showing up in the Windows installer, um, you have to disable Intel Rapid Storage, Intel RST or whatever. And uh, sometimes it's called VMD. Um, but in this case, yeah, we disabled that already, but it shouldn't auto enable itself. You have to disable all the RAID stuff. Oops, the plug's on this side. Um, and then it will show up the SSD. Okay, anyways, that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.